Okay, so we are playing the full version of the casting of Frank Stone. And we are going to be dying alone. Let's go to a new game. You save, yeah. And yeah, I think we'll go for... I'm gonna go for Survivor for this. Um, so when I go on to stream it... On Twitch, I think I might go up to Sacrifice. After seeing the story for the first time on YouTube. So if you want to watch me play through it on Sacrifice, then uh, tune in to my Twitch channel for that. But for this, for this first playthrough, for this blind playthrough, we're going to go through Survivor um, on YouTube. I've sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power, infinite in knowledge, voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him, Frank Stone, my key, my killer. I am Augustine Lieber, and I'm about to change our worlds forever. The Burning War, Cedar Steel Mill, 1963. So I guess Frank must be a worker of the steel mill to have built a rapport with, uh, with, the, with the dog. Merlin, I think is the dog's name. So we have played through the prologue, which is this, and you can watch my initial impressions, my first impressions of the prologue in a previous video on the channel. A 
I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you? Covering the entire site? Oh, no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Mother Manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? My dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. I don't think you would have the dog just wandering around. Uh, oh, I need to nope. ask you a few questions. I'm okay, yeah. Mm, that's weird. Can I have your name? My mouse Thomas is not Jefferson on that. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. Tom, I want to talk to you about... I know what about. That missing boy, right? That's right. You think he could be missing here? This mill looks a big place. Biggest at all Cedar Hills. But that don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. Oh, I have to use... I have to use WAS to W... So I have to use A or D to get to the other one? Oh, wait, no. My mouse is responding this time. Uh, sounds like a lot of ground to cover. Okay, check your record. It's true, it is a lot of ground to recover, considering he was asleep at his desk in here. Are you sure? Sounds like a lot of ground to cover for just you and your dog. It's a big job, yes sir. Why is the dog not but with you? The magnitude of the labor that keeps a man alert and ready for action? You were asleep. You've been drinking. See now? Okay, so weirdly, it's ignoring my mouse again. But if I go. So if I hold D, does it. Yeah, okay. Been I don't know what's going Tom? on now. Just a little nightcap. Nightcaps usually happen before a nap. This a regular habit? Regular on or not regular. More sort of medication. Taken only in time of need. Right. How often is that? And what you come out here for? To give a veteran a hard time about his medicinal practices? No. You've got a job I'm here to do. Because a child is missing. And every minute wasted is another chance gone to find him. Boy, you ain't gonna find him here. I'd know it in my bones if that boy were within a mile of this mill. All the same, I'd like to take a look around. You want to do my job for me? Be my guest. Okay, it's so interesting. We've, Tom. Because we were questioning about Back him being oblige. drunk, we've upset him. <laughs> Does that mean he's not going to help us? Hmm. When we first went through the prologue, we were a bit nicer to him, and he was quite accommodating later on. But I wonder if that's going to completely change now. Press Q to activate Plunger's Instinct to reveal the ore of collectible trinkets. There's one over there. So that'll be good. So we know where most of these things are. At least I think we do. 
in the prologue anyway. Iridescent King. She promised to take away my pain, take away my nightmares. Doesn't look here, does it? window. I can get in through there. So Tom. Also I can't use Plunderer's Instinct right now. I guess you have to be near them. I do not like squeezing past things. Like I see videos of people doing spelunking and stuff. It's like no way. Hello? When they're just like struggling to get through a cave gap. It's like well, what are you? Yeah. And then you gotta try and backtrack through that? Hell no. We've dug his own stone off graveyard to pick up slack. No use running free crews when with half the manpower. Some fellas gonna have to double up shifts till the lump can out front. No one's working nice for a while. Hux. Okay, that's why there's no one's on graveyard. What? They don't have very many people though, do they? Like five people a day. Uh, well, five people in the morning, five people in the afternoon. It's like it's weirdly small. Employee's personal record. Employee for your fourth. Surname, preferred name. T E F A. Why don't you even see that there? Uh, oh. Day of birth. Um. 41727. So April 17th, 1927. Machinist. Singer House, Cedar Hills. One charge assault, robbery. Sponsored early release. Three, five dreams, habitation. 
Sponsor main contact doctor a something or other. Dr. Lieber. Who would that be? I don't know who that would be. Hmm. Well, there's the pallet. Need to prop that back up. Full moon. Uh, at least we think of the quarry what? and their disappointing werewolves. Hello? Anyone here? It's police. Yeah, well, I think werewolves. I want actual werewolves. Big furry monsters. Or like dogs. Just, or wolves, even. Really. You know, standing up. Who's there? Yeah, there's definitely nothing up here, is there? Yeah, well, were you supposed to look down there and see something? Or is the, uh... You can't guide the flashlight down there. Oh yeah, I can fall over that. Okay. Mr. That's Officer Green. Sure. You haven't seen Merlin, wonder what, have you? Wonder what way he got into no. that <laughs> Sorry. For that door. Uh, you alright there? Uh, yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. Ah. <laughs> uh. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Nothing good. It 
So he's a bit of a liability then. If he can't even detect smells. What if there's a massive like fuel leak or something? You've got barrels everywhere. Merlin! There you are, boy. We wondered where you got to. <gasps> If you two made proper acquaintance, Ugh. God damn it. <clears throat> you put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? Uh, somebody that? coming in to steal stuff? Some kind of wing. I mean, you are supposed to be the night watchman. It's supposed to be security. Yeah, it's uh, it's an era, okay? Two deer now. Will you look at that? That damn dog. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? Yes, we do, big. Nah. Came from someone much older. A teenager, maybe. Jesus married a milkmaid. Hey, you know about any other folks going missing in Cedar Hills lately? Well, I don't know. Who would know a thing like that? Do you not read the local well, paper? Somebody does. I, mean, I guess you just sit in your little cabin, uh, getting drunk and sleeping. There's a little iridescent king. What was that sound? Stay behind me. Yeah, what was that? What was that sound? A door slamming, I guess. So, what is this thing? The grate? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Pry it open. Gotcha. Got ourselves an item. So I wonder if there's Easter eggs in the game that aren't collectibles, like references to other places. Like, so let's look at the uh, the crates or something. There's nothing here that says like. It's from. Uh. Well, that's the thing, am I even going to remember what they're called? Like the Macmillan Estate or anything like that? Oh, 
but I haven't seen anything so far. See the steel mill, paymaster's office. Stand back. I'll be honest, if it's that heavy to lift, I don't think that crowbar would work. I mean, that crowbar would probably right. start bending before it lifts Take up. This. That? Use the radio in my if car it was that and call heavy, the station. You could barely lift it. Well, where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know. I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. Hey, I'm gonna need you to take this too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh boy, I don't know. Sure could use a little pick me up right about now. Tom, focus, come on. Yeah, keep a clear head. Let's let's not um, exacerbate the situation, right? I think you're better off keeping a clear head. Now, where's that ever got me? I'm serious. We don't know what's out there. Well, the more reason to put up a liquid shield. You dull your senses. Like if something bad's gonna happen, it's gonna happen whether you drink or not. So you got to decide if you want to meet this like a man or you want to meet it like a drunk. Hardly seems like a choice to me. Hey. I'm counting on you, Tom Hope. Yes, yeah, so that's quite a bit different to when we spoke to him last time. But yeah, it's hard to tell if something actually has ramifications or if it's just the illusion of choice. Ah, oh, poor hat. Damn it. Is that the only thing? Through here, right? Wooden horse. I know what it is to believe. Through the forest, the path is clear, and the fire waits for me. I don't think there are any other collectibles. Damn. It's a maze down here. It's cool though, because with Plunderer's Instinct I'm not going to be like, oh, did I miss something or not? I'm getting so uh, caught up on that. Let's 
So, that's the first entrance. What was down here? Oh, nothing. A dead end. A door he doesn't even try to open. Oh, what was that? We look at this. Someone's engaged in the strange rituals in the hidden hills area. Or because of. Yeah, I couldn't work this out, right? Was he talking about the scones? Oh, was he talking about this? This. Oh, the paint underneath it. What even is that? What is that, like an axe or something? It's not a very clear image. So unclear, I didn't even realise there was an image the last time. I just thought we were talking about the sconce. Yeah, so there was an item over here, right? No? No, there wasn't. Okay. That was just a dead end. This has got to be it. <sighs> oh, we didn't see this last time. Who is this? Wait, we're not even gonna talk about the image? Who is that? Huh. Oh, well, this is an X now. Okay. Underneath it. So that's interesting. I think that was different from last time. I think I looked in there last time and it was just like rib cage. But that didn't give me a plunderer's thing, so that's not actually it. So it only does it for collectibles and not. Interactable, but I think we've already established that anyway. It just looked like a collectible kind of item. Oh, and this is. So that was an X before. We had an axe. Uh, what is that? Like a stick? Oh, the ribcage was in here. Okay. Ah, this place turns my stomach. Should have waited for backup, though, shouldn't you? Oh, this isn't giving us the uh, pleasures thing either. The hillbilly. Weirder and weirder down here. Twisted Mountain Monster. This is a relic. One of like 12, I think you said. With his little razor blade chainsaw. Creepy and adorable all at once. But yeah, we just leave it there. Has a little spinning wheels of it does something, I guess. Goddamn small spaces. The sound effects are pretty good. Oh, what was this? Oh, the lower part of oh his God. helmet. 
Verweise her. So I wonder if the look is um, Frank Stone then when he was young. This issue is a white, so it makes it a little bit easier and not completely missable. Another weird height object. Are these like the um are these symbols of the killer's weapons? In DVD? Oh yeah, scooch axe. Oh yeah, perfect. Got a great scooch axe. There you go, look out for those white silhouettes. They might have added more interactables, but it doesn't seem like they've added any extra doors to go through. This one doesn't have a symbol. Oh wait, it was under the sconces, wasn't it? There isn't any here. Was there any back here? No. Okay, there's any back here. Nope. Okay, up we go then. Oh. Oh, frame rate's dying. <laughs> Lord, this is hellish. Oh, so is that a ladder right in front of us? Yeah, okay, so I couldn't see the ladder before. Yeah, so the ladder is right here to our right. Yeah, it's super hard for me to even see it on here. But... Yeah, going up there as we just saw Frank Stone standing up there. Yeah, that seems really reckless to go up there. Um, Sam wouldn't though. But as we like, we know that he's standing up there. So if you go up there, you're like sitting in duck. At least on the ramp, if you're walking up there. You got plenty of time to actually see that Frank's there. So that's why we're gonna go on the ramp. So it seems like I made the best choice last time. At least I, I, I'm assuming I have anyway. It does amaze me how Sam doesn't see the dude. Uh. Stop! Did we not blind him? Oh. Uh, 
I don't know how you do this because you don't have leverage. Like how would you pull yourself off? Get up, Sam! Yeah, grab that gun. Shot Frank and saved the child. Sam is a hero. That was a pretty damn epic kill. Explode on Sam. Motherfucker. Just a dream. Okay. Oh. I guess you're still dreaming? Wake up, Madison. Maybe you don't have fancy glasses like this. Hmm. This is where they want us to go. Try to look at the logo on the computer, I don't know what that is. Oh. Oh. That is, that's pretty cool though. That was a pretty cool reveal. Okay, let's go out outside. Let's go out into the corridor? Or forest, I guess? Oh. Oh. Um... Are you there, Mom? None of this is right. Uh, 
That's no good. Everything's now decaying. Well, the glass still seems the same. Let's see if these are two objects we can look at. Oh, the poster's gone. Forest is still there. What the hell? Force is even more encroaching. The face is disappearing. The glass is always fine. Is that supposed to represent something? It is only those two objects we can interact with, right? Yeah, it seems like it. Oh. Finally, out into the forest. There's no way back. Oh shit! I was like, oh fuck, the killer stains behind us. Red stain. Oh, scratch marks! There should be scratch marks, we're already walking! Why are we seeing the red stain from the scratch marks? Oh no. Sadako? <laughs> Where huh? Guess we'll turn it on. Disappointed though, child doesn't know how to work a TV. <laughs> I'm here. Everything's all right. Hmm. Don't like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Once we take it by the entity. Cover. Oh, throw a plane. <laughs> oh God, London. Oh dear. Get a grip. It would be rather with the entity. What is that? She walks these hills in a long black veil. She's 
She visits my grave while the night winds wave. do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I mean the left. The left side is the right side. That's right. <laughs> uh, I cannot read that handwriting quickly. Is that a hedge Yeah, don't stop. C carry on. No. Do not stop. Don't stop. Yeah, just carry on. Hey! Hey! No. That's why we don't pick up hitchhikers. Exactly. I Never stop for hitchhikers. Good job, Maddie. That's not good, all the lights just went out. Where are we going? Whipstaff Manor? In the House of Darkness. Ger Geron, Geron Manor 2024? Geron, maybe? Why are we here? So we had an invitation to come here? Creepy doorbell. Good sign. They turn off all the lights to see you. Hello! I'm here! No, I want to check out come inventory. All the way up here and nobody's home. Let me in, please! Hello? 